and welcome back to the Gator Snapper playthrough of Super Mario Sunshine, the fun summer game that I'm enjoying while the weather outside is like... Have you ever see, looked outside? It's been that kind of like... It's weird because it looks cloudy, but it's also really bright because the sun's just peeking his stupid fucking face through. And it's just like, hey, I'm here too. And you're like, no, fuck off. And then the weather's bad too because it's all humid. And I'm like, it could be a nice cold overcast day, but no. We have a sun to worry about instead. Anyways, back to Mario fucking sunshine. Well, we're going around cleaning up this whole island because the inhabitants are a bunch of accusatory assholes. I think I ruined their kind of shithole uh, situation. This is basically like the same deal as Hawaii. I bet the Delfinoans or whatever the hell they're called are actually not the natural inhabitants and they keep the people that actually came from here like as kind of like indentured servants or something. I don't know. That's my assumption because I just really don't like these guys. Hold on. What are they actually called? Are they like Delphinites or something? I feel like they had a name that's closer to pinatas. And also, why the fuck you got a tree growing out of your head, you piece of shit? What's your deal? There was a pretty big tremor a moment ago, wasn't there? I wonder what's going up on the other side of that hill. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I said going up either. So I'm just gonna keep fucking going on my way. Here we go. We ah, so fucking pleasant. It always made me feel like, oh man, this is what I want to do. I want to go fucking like rolling down a big fucking thing of uh, a, uh, like a big hill that's like slick with water. Meanwhile, if that happened, I'd probably either like skin my entire front half of my body, or I'd slam face first into a hard rock surface, or God knows what. I mean, I guess I could have just gone on a slip and slide. That would have probably had like similar results, but I don't know. Fuck it. I was too busy trying to. Trying, is there? What the fuck? Did anyone else see that? Is it just like, yeah, no, the whole fucking bridge is shaking every time I shake my camera. Oh, no, that doesn't seem right. All right, well, let's keep going. Uh, and also, is this going to be one of the annoying ones where it pops up in another location? Nope, here we go. Blue coins, super important. That's kind of all there is to you. You just get the money and you buy more shine sprites. It's the easy way of, of well, it's the kind of easier way of if you want to fucking, um... If you want to get to the ending, but also if you want to collect every shine sprite, it's required that you do it. Uh, as one could probably guess, this is not going to be some kind of 100% playthrough. I ain't about that life. I'm about the simple life where I just play the game, have fun with it. I, I kind of lose the whole fun aspect when it's like people are like, uh, I don't know, when people are like the 100%ing crowd, I'm like, I don't understand that. I... I don't know. Like, I get if a game's fun, I'll enjoy playing it. I've never felt a desire to 100% something, though. The only thing, really, that I've probably come close to is with, like, Skyrim. Oh, you know what? Oblivion. I'd say I 100% in that. At least in terms of quests. But I don't think I, like, 100% and grabbed every item or saw every, like, weird esoteric Easter egg. Like, there's been a bunch of things I have not seen. Oh, God. But I saw that. I saw the blue zone. The fabled blue zone of uh, Mario. It's actually... Oh, God. It's uh, one of the most famous creepy pastas. You don't want to go in there. All right. Who is fucking hawking the big old... You know, I was going to say hawking a phlegm gem, but that is obviously someone just taking a big old shit. Someone's, like, lo projectile launching their shit down at me, and I'm not enjoying it. Ooh, look at this self-controlled camera here. I love it. And I really gotta stop hitting Y. You know what? Maybe I could, like, change my button maps, because I don't like X being my switch button. I'm always used to that being, like, Y or something. Here you go. And you're here, so you've... I swear to God, for that blue coin, I'm gonna be pissed off. You gotta be important since you're standing up here. Hey, buddy, could you help me out with the big-headed creature up there? You're the only one we can ask to lend us a hand. Don't fucking say it like I'm doing it as a favor to you assholes. I'm conscripted here. Otherwise, I can't leave the jail cell of this island. Well, I know it's a pain, but you think you can handle it? I hate all of you. You fucking undetermined, like... I, I don't even know what creature you're based off of. The nose of a proboscis monkey... And, I don't know, the body of a fucking creature from Toy Story or something. Oh, wait, hold on, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna do great at the parkour of this game, I can tell. And also, what is the deal with that? That weird... I kind of want to check it out, but I also don't want to waste too much time. As one could probably tell that I'm already wasting so much time just riding the windmill up. God, there's a lot of things I'm already passing up on. Oh, well, it'll be fine. Hello, PD Peron. I see you have a shine sprite for me. Let me just go ahead and sneak uh, past your head for that. Maybe I can... No, of course not. It's like, sequence break. Just grab the shine sprite and go. Uh, yes, it's nice to see you too. Are we really doing this? Are we really just getting into a scream off immediately? No pomp and circumstance either. I just come up here, he screams at me, and then we fall through the roof. And I guess I just assume to kill him. Uh, but the two of them for a moment 
for a brief moment had like a moment of solidarity where they're like oh no we're both in trouble should we try to save each other uh and then we're down here and it's just like nah fuck that we're killing each other all right pd open your fucking slut mouth let me get all this nasty nasty water in you if you turn around i swear to christ there's gonna be some problems here hey 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 what are you doing none of that turn this into like one of those food porn videos yeah we're gonna force feed pd piranha here we go oh and since i learned how to uh okay wow this is okay here we go ha ha good thing i learned how to ground pound on my own rather than the game teaching me how to do it you know what the game didn't teach me how to do it did it I, oh wow huh I figured it out all on my own by accident. It's a good thing I figured it out by accident, too. Otherwise, I would have been uh, very frustrated. Like, how do I ground pound? Complaining about that all the time. Here we go. Wait, no, I want to do the backflip. The backflip's the only real way to do it. There we go. Now, give me back my water. It's very... He's a self-sustaining creature. Like, you put water into him, and you kill him, and he pukes all the water back out. And you're like, haha, I can continue the cycle anew. I mean, it's not really self-sustaining, really. It's just he's... He's giving me the same amount of water back that I put into him, so... You know what, maybe let's, uh... Let's, let's like, maybe change our, our mind about what we said there. Oh, is that it already? Oh, man, Pete Piranha. You are not, uh, the most long-lasting, are you? The girls are gonna make fun of you for that, you know. <laughs> you know, you gotta have more stamina in the bedroom when you're getting ground-pounded by a woman that's been force-feeding you water. Would it be force-feeding? Force-drinking doesn't sound right. Like, what do you, what do you call it when you... Like, it's kind of understandable when you're like, I'm I'm feeding you, you're giving food to somebody. What is it like, you're drunking someone, you're drinking, you don't say you're drinking someone. How do you say like, I'm giving you water or liquid? I never thought about that until now and I'm kind of disappointed that I'm, I'm making such a big, a big point of it now. But uh, here we are now, welcome to the Let's Player life. Just randomly fucking thinking about something be like, huh, ain't that a little weird? And I guess, um... You know what, I could keep doing Bianca Hill missions. That's kind of the thing with this game, like, they do, they direct you towards new areas all the time. But you could also just keep going on with, like, one stage at a time as you go. Oh, where's this one pop up? I think it's right by that area. Might as well do it. Yep, yeah, there you go, I know where that is. Now, time to employ my super secret speedy technique that probably doesn't work as well. You know what, I can still do this, though. Yeah, there's a way to do this better. And I fucked it all up. I hope that coin's still there. Oh, no! Got it. Haha. <laughs> See, I, I, was, I, was, I knew I'd have plenty of time to simply walk up to him. That's why I didn't bother jumping and sliding, of course. Yes, that was the only reason. Here we go. Let's get this bad boy uh, out of here so we can get our Tanuki house back and get all of the beautiful blue coins. There we go, hello you. These things really are just kind of minding their own business. If only they hadn't been fucking with like, the setup we had in this town already. They could just fucking enjoy their life in peace. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, let me feed you more water. There you go. It really is a thing of like, there's such a big deal of like, you're forcing these things to consume water. Like with PD, with all these little like, I don't know, are these even plants? They're just kind of like, I don't know, they, they have the shape of a piranha plant, but other than that, they're just kind of a goopy mess. I don't know, it'd be... I'd feel better about hurting a lot of the creatures in here if it was more of a thing of, like, you were cleaning them off. Like, you were cleaning the monsters, and they're like, oh, I appreciate what you've done, and now I leave you alone. You do some fucked up shit to some of the bosses in this game. Like, the fucking giant squid, you, like, rip his mouth open or something. It's, it's nothing nice. It's nothing like, oh, I was just dirty and angry because some uh, evil plumber dude, and I don't even know how you were in there, some evil plumber dude fucking uh, covered me in paint, and then you cleaned them off, and they're super grateful. It could have been like that, but no, they're like, yeah, kill these fucking creatures. Welcome, welcome, I suppose you're here for that. Mm, yes, very good. That means I'll require ten blue coins from you. You know how immediately suspicious this sounds, if you're not specifying what that is. What's this? Mm, not even ten coins? And you get nothing! Get the fuck out. I can't drop my prices that low. That would be madness. You'll have to come back again, I'm afraid. See you later. So these guys are basically like the fuck, the, like the black market of shine sprites. Like that, I never really considered that until just now, but like... They're doing these under-the-table dealings for these blue coins, and, like, these are the things that people in this city and, and world really need to live, and they're just like, no, these are ours, you have to pay us to get them back. I bet they work for Bowser. Those little assholes. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna go back 
to Bianca Hill? Yeah, because the lighthouse is still there. Yeah, okay. Back to Bianca Hill, I guess. Oh, wait. Also, this just in. The Debs are super useful. The boathouse west of town has disappeared. I don't know what way west is because I don't really have a compass direction. I'm going to assume it's the thing I just fixed and go back to Bianca Hills. I like Bianca Hills. It's like a nice fucking green lawn. It's actually... I don't know. what This area particularly isn't too, like, vacation-y, is it? I guess it's like... It's more like you're going through the lawn of one of those resort hotel areas. And you're just... I don't know. I don't know. It's not really too like vacation-y is it it's nice to look at i guess it's like a nice little area but i wouldn't go here and be like ah yes this is where i want to spend my time it's like where i'd go to walk through to spend my time somewhere else i don't know oh this guy's a big old fucking mess don't you worry sir i've got your back watch as i leap over your head and forcefully project water at a high velocity down directly on you it's like an actual shower like this here we go oh yeah he's 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 getting a big old fuck he's getting a deep clean I'm gonna fucking bidet him with this. Here you go, sir. How you doing? Oh, thank you for the bidet. Thanks a bundle. Oh, well, that was it. Aren't you someone I talk to again later? Eh, you know, I don't even really care. You're just some rando. Let's see. Cave. Cave is up yonder ways, I believe. Can I get there? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, God, I'm getting nutted. Oh, God, I got nutted so fucking hard. All right, let's see. If we get... Uh, oh, do I need the rocket? boy. Oh, no, I see. I can probably just go this way. Things are chasing me. I didn't even realize. Oh, uh, wait. I bet this guy has something totally useful to add on to uh, my current predicament. Hello, sir. What do you have to say? <laughs> you can see the hillside cable there, right? A guy came out all covered in goop and ran under the bridge. I wonder if something bad was after him. How disturbing. Was that the guy I just fixed, or is there someone down here as well? Well, actually, I don't know. Uh, well, there's a little bit of land down there. I don't know. I think it was a guy I already took care of. Too bad he didn't say anything fucking useful. Like, oh god, don't go in there. There's a fucking paint apocalypse creature in there. Yeah, no. He's just, be, he's just be being completely useless saying, oh, thanks for cleaning me off. I'm not going to give you any relevant information about my predicament, though. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm Mario, after all. I'm a certified killer. What do you think Mario does for the Mushroom Kingdom? He takes out uh, all of his enemies. He takes out, like, all the kingdom's enemies with his weird, powerful feet. Oh, and there we go. No, he took my flood. He's going to do terrible things with its mouth. You know what? I bet that exists on Rule 34, and I don't wish to uh, find it. Oh, what am I talking about? I'm, I'm always up to looking at Rule 34 to find something absurdly weird. And also, welcome to the stages that I'm probably going to be the worst at. The things where you don't get your flood. But, to make up for it... Whoop, whoop, to make up for it... I think the controls in this game, one of the things people complain about is that the controls in this game aren't as good as the controls in Mario 64. I can I can see it because a, a lot of the time... I feel very... I feel like it's easy to lose control of your character. Did Mario just fucking crash for a moment? Oh, God. Yeah, it's very easy to lose control of your character in this game. Like, Mario can really, like, fly out, like, very quickly if you move, like, too far. But, I don't know. I think these missions are pretty... They're, they they could be challenging, but they're pretty fun. This one's actually one of the really easy ones, because really all you have to do is walk forward and time out to not whoop, fall off of ledges. I say that now while I'm putting all my brain power. And, uh, do I try to get this? Oh, God. It's a good thing they have a shadow there to give me some depth perception. You really have to do a backflip to get it, don't you? Yep. Aha. Easy. Yeah, no. This is this is just a fucking excuse to get some free lives and a, a, a shine sprite. Good deal. Oh, and Mario has his hover shoes on, I see. Yeah, see, Mario has, like, a superpower with his feet. Crush anything beneath them, float in the air. I guess ground pound or ramming things up his ass. I don't know. It, you know what? I, I was about to say one of those fucking jokes that's like what made all the bad Greek games in Newgrounds where it's like what if uh, instead of Mario's ground pound killing people it, like his his whole power basically was to shove things up his ass and I was like you know what that, that really does sound like very low hanging fruit that like a lot of games off of Newgrounds came from not to say all games on Newgrounds are bad some of them are really good but then there's a lot of bad ones and let's see uh, graffiti and since loss of contact with Bianco Hills am I still doing Bianco Hills missions oh Rico Harbor Rico Harbor, oh, isn't that, did I, oh, you know what, isn't it uh, on the other side, I did not remember that, hold on, it might be sitting on the other side of the thing, I'm, oh no, oh wait, that's what you do, you tap B again, here we go, that's what, that's what I wanted, oh, did I really pass that up, 
Oh, wow, I'm kind of dumb. Well, you know what? We'll go to Rico Harbor in the next episode, and that's a really nice area. It's another area that's not very vacation-y now that I think about it, but it's still somehow so pleasant. So, yeah, we'll see that area in the next one. So, it's been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys then. Later, everybody.